Hey guys, I've got Pelpy here. Today I'm just going to do a quick video on iTunes 9 compared to iTunes 10 on Windows 7. Hope you enjoy. Okay, before I do anything to do with the new iTunes compared thing that I'm going about, you're about to see, um, just a quick little update. Um, okay, everyone's been basically asking everyone on YouTube this question, and I thought I'd answer it in this video because it's basically about iTunes 10. Um, okay, can you jailbreak in the new iTunes 10? Yes. The new iTunes does not affect jailbreaking at all. There was a rumour bot um, going around that in iTunes 10, Apple could track your iPod and see if it was jailbroken. But that was completely false. Okay, first of all, the icon. Um, Apple has finally changed the iTunes logo and I think it looks super awesome. The old shiny disc with a note on it to a circle with a silver outline with the famous iTunes note in the middle. Apple basically threw out the old design and started from scratch. Inside the new iTunes 10, um, first of all the design is now more of a sleek plain grey, there is like no colour at all. Um, also the top menu, I've got a picture here of the old iTunes 9.2 in the iTunes store and I've got open up iTunes and we'll just take a look at the top menu. Um, there are only two major changes in the menu. First on, first one is the volume. Apple um, made the volume bar thicker and instead of a small circle to control the volume they made a shiny kind of metal reflecting circle much larger than before. And the other one is a new um, kind of music selecting thing. Um, they've added a new music menu. Now you can see the album art name of the band and the album along with songs in the album. But the only thing that's kind of bad about it is um, you can only have one, it has to have one to five songs to show the album art. Just to say like the, these ones, see there's no album art. But yeah, um, now for some odd reason on the side menu in iTunes, um, Apple has like taken all the colour out of it, like there is no colour at all unless you select an icon and it goes blue. Um, the icons have slightly, I reckon they've slightly gotten a little bit bigger compared to the old one. Um, only one icon has changed drastically and that's when you add a new playlist, it's a little note and um, lines like uh, music thing that you write music on. Um, that's about it. And now I'm actually surprised iTunes didn't drastically change the music. I'm pretty sure they've changed the text, but yeah, they haven't really changed much. They've only changed the grid lines going through and the ticks. They used to be little boxes, but they haven't actually changed anything very like big. Um, now the biggest change is ping. Um, Apple has like totally brought in a new like network kind of thing into iTunes and changed it all. I reckon it's basically Facebook for music, or well, it seems like that, or like Twitter for music. Um, well, I th it's a good idea, but I don't see the point. Um, they want more sales for bands, so they're trying to like make the bands join. So people get to know them, and then they buy their music. So iTunes gets more money out of it. So they decided to make it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, after you've watched this, just go over to the Crazy Fishy and check out his videos. Sub him, like his videos. They're pretty good and helpful.